I thought it was just going into space. I thought it was like... High School, the Harold G. Norton Athletic Complex, the Air Show of the Panthers for tonight's MIAA Division 5 boys soccer game between Kemp Academy and Air Shirley. Good sportsmanship is one of the primary purposes of educational athletics. Our student athletes recognize that judgment calls by officials, coaches, and themselves are made in good faith and should be respected. Spectators from the school, both of these teams are refraining from derogatory or demeaning comments and cheers today. We hope you will enjoy the game and the students to be properly supported in this manner. Reminded that there are no noisemakers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. oh, no. Whoa! We're not saying that. First names only, first names only. I got Georgia. Do it, Greg! Go! Well, I make a beat. Number eight, Rafael Concoro. 
Number three, Jason Garcia. Number six, Josue Garo. Number 14, Alexi Sandoval. Number 17, Ruben Lopez. Number five, Diego Aguilar. Number 12, Ethan Chiro. Number 23, Dean Kunkar. Number 19, Andy Esteban. Whoa, 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 whoa. Number two, Omar Perron. Five each, public school teacher. Gabby <laughs> Mahishu. Number 13, Gabriel Macario. Number nine, Henry Romero. Number 15, Jesse L. Ampaio. Number 20, Jonathan Chavez. Axel Fernandez. Number double zero, Angel Lopez. Now for the home team, the A. Shirley Panthers. Number one, Noah Reed. Number two, Noah Calvelli. Number three, Jacob Pierre Aragon. Number four, Kevin Velasco. Number five, A.J. Eric Hellion. Number six, Captain David Bachelor. Number seven, Santiago Pin. Number eight, Nick Williams. Number nine, Jason Arboleta. Number ten, Nick Cruz. Number 11, the captain, Arthur Rivera. Number 13, Isaac Alarcon. Number 14, Jacob Bush. Number 15, Miles Pyatt. Number 16, Hayden Fallon. Number 17, James Churchill. Number 18, Keeper Griffin Potter. Number 19, Paul Colin Hibbert. Number 20, Gio DeCosta Pereira. And number 22, Austin Oro. Our show is coached by Mr. Mark Justo. We now ask everyone to please rise for the singing of the national anthem by Air Shirley, pro soccer player, and to Tracy.
Team Academy goal, scored by number 16, Elizabeth De Leon. Goal, goal comes the 14th minute. Thank <laughs> you. 
so many people I love doing the adult show. And I always invite the, like, you know, whoever's around, like, come play a little street hockey. And they go, and they go oh, like, what? what? They always do it for a little extra. Like, you guys, you guys the best day of the year. I'll tell you crush what, like, them. They don't score. No, no, they can't <laughs> score. Like, I literally take, you know, third grade 52 year old ladies and we wax the floor <laughs> with these fourth grade hot shit. I love it. I love it. It helps me get through the end of the year. <laughs> Oh, and I, uh, I'm Goldie. I throw the pass of Goldberg, right? Like, I sit back there and I work the bullhorn. <laughs> Miss West is one two of you on the point in the top shelf, bro. Like, I mean, you can't pop me for the rest of the year, man. Thank you. 
pictures are going to be like... No 
what's terrible is when there's like two or three of them standing in the fourth floor. I have to like go back. Right now we're going to basketball on our football on Saturday. They just moved it home.
championship in the World Athletic Athletics. NIAA, its member schools are dedicated to promoting sportsmanship. Uh, <laughs>
for the senior ceremony. We're going to recognize our four seniors. So as we recognize our seniors tonight, we'd like to thank them all for their commitment over the last four years, in many cases, five or six years. They've obviously been a big part of building this program back up. When they started here as freshmen, we probably had about 24 kids in our soccer program. Now we're back up at the high school level to over 40, plus another 18 at the middle school. So a real credit to the senior group. Each of them has written a speech. I will do my best to provide proper voice to them. I will probably fail at this. Starting with uh, David Batchelor. <laughs> David's words here. Three years into the school as a freshman, so I my way to meet new people like James and Jacob. Together, the three of us have been through a range of seasons, each year improving. This season was special. It seemed like yesterday we were having conversations about our potential this week. We even spent half a practice writing our goals on a board to remember what we were working towards, with the utmost goal being to make it to the state playoffs, and here we are. The season is a success already to me. I've loved soccer, every team, every year, from rec to middle school to high school. As a captain, I cannot ask for a better team. This team has really made an impact this year, and I bet everything it is only going to get better. I truly believe that this season we have. And with that, I'd like to thank my family, my grandparents for motivation, my father for supporting me, even from a distance, my brother for the pictures. I'm sure we all thank him for that more than he knows. My mother for the comfort and advice, but also thank you to my new family because you guys all made it happen. Every single one of you will forever be in my heart. I only ask for one thing in return, that next season, you guys finally crank it up to the last notch. Congratulations, David Patchett. <laughs> Next up will be James Churchill. <laughs> to start things off, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with the opportunity to play this amazing game of soccer, as well as thank him for everything as a whole. I'd also like to thank my family for the constant support and for always coming to support me at every game, no matter how far it may be. I could always count on seeing them just in the crowd, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. Don't let it be with all of you by my side throughout the good and the bad. Love you guys. I'd also like to thank my teammates for making this year so memorable. This has been my favorite year by far, not just because of the fact we're in the state playoffs for the first time in my career, but because of all the laughs, the tough practices together, just everything. Loved every moment with you guys. And lastly, I'd like to thank Coach Justo. I've always played this game just to play it. Good exercise, I say, and nothing more. But you still allowed me to view it in a whole new lens. The so-called game he thinks I hate so much has slowly grown into a sport I now love. Couldn't have asked for a better coach in both soccer and in life. Honestly, going to miss those early Sunday practices and the name, echoing name of Churchy being yelled from the sidelines every second. I'm going to miss this game more than I thought I would, but the memories I've got out of it will last a lifetime. And I have a little message for the younger guys. Just enjoy the moments you have right now because I promise they go by in the blink of an eye. And don't forget to enjoy the game and just have fun. It makes the game a whole lot better. Thank you, Ayer Shirley Sock. Next up is Arthur Rodero. I'd like to start my speech by thanking everyone who has been with me throughout this journey. A big thanks to my parents who always work their tails off or are always willing to make sacrifices for me. I want to thank the team for making this year special. You guys are family. Everyone works so extremely hard. I'm really proud of the amount of discipline and dedication this young team has. After all, there are our only four seniors. There are no teams that are willing to wake up at 6.30 or earlier for a Sunday morning practice, but we did whatever it took. I'll miss yelling at these guys during every practice or game, and I'll miss the team being annoyed or frustrated with me. If you told them my soccer journey was ending this year, I wouldn't believe you. 
soccer has always been so crucial for me in my life for many different reasons. There's nothing better than celebrating a big win or simply putting the boots on. Playing soccer has taught me self-control, accountability, and numerous other characteristics that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. It's also been more than just a game. Hope I will still maintain the connection and love with the sport, but it's most likely the end. I'll be running track in college now, but soccer has had that special place with me. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, just for those who don't know, Arthur will be signing a letter of intent to run track at Holy Cross. Uh, but uh, he's going to have other things going on Wednesday because we'll be playing Wednesday. We'll figure out a new date for that. <laughs> Lastly, tonight's hero, Jacob Burst. I'd like to start by thanking my family for driving me everywhere, coming to every game, and most importantly, being my biggest supporters day in and day out through the good and the bad. I'd also like to thank my teammates for making this season so special and memorable to me. This was my first time playing in the state playoffs, and I can't thank you guys enough for being by my side these last three months to help make that happen. And lastly, I'd like to thank Coach Justo for being such an inspiration to me as a player and a person. I can't imagine where I'd be without any other coach. And your commitment to this team these last four years is like nothing I've ever seen. And the stuff you've done for this team never went unnoticed. We love you, coach. I'm going to miss lacing them up on the bus, talking in the corner at halftime, and doing cool downs after a game. But I'm excited to see what this team will do in the years to follow. Cherish the memories while they last. Thank you, Ayer Shirley, and thank you, Jacob. <laughs> Once again, one more big round of applause for our four seniors who have led the team to the Sweet 16 of the Division 5 State Tournament. Panthers will face Tejanto Wednesday at 2 o'clock at Tejanto. And yes, that means an early dismissal for you guys. And we'll figure that out tomorrow. Go get the hot dog!
I believe there are snacks for everybody at the concession stand. Don't quote me. I could be wrong. But I believe there are snacks for football for soccer players, not football players. You guys get yours on Thursday. Soccer players uh, in the concession stand. Thank <laughs> you. 